What is going on everyone, Parsnip here, and today I wanted to go ahead and talk about roofs. So you're probably wondering, what are roofs? Well, a roof serves as protection from natural elements like the sun and rain, but on Terraria it also serves as protection from stuff like monsters. Um, another great reason to have a roof on your build on Terraria is because of the aesthetic aspects of it. You know, it'll give your build that final touch that makes it look complete. So today I'm going to go ahead and talk about how to make your roof, how to improve your roof, and what to avoid on said roof. So the first thing you should know about your roof is the theme that it will have. Like will it be a wizard tower, will it look like a castle, will it be round, uh, will it have this fantasy aspect to it. The possibilities are endless. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to make some roofs and why I made it like that pretty much. So let's start off simple and go on from there. This first roof is super simple. All I do is use um, pearl stone blocks to make a triangular shape. I actually found the statue that I put on the center, which is the column one, as well as a background. So it's not just made out of completely plain blocks. You guys want to avoid just making it out of flat plain blocks. Of course, there are exceptions, and I will talk about this again later. So here, a simple triangle build with a background of the same blocks right behind it. Up next is another simple build and this one follows the castle theme I guess. So here what I go ahead and do is put another layer on my roof uh, out of wood and I make the edges out of that same block. Now what I do try to avoid is keeping everything out of um, actual blocks. You know you could put a wall instead just to give you that free mobility that you'll have when you go up on the roof compared to just having complete blocks. You could also do this by putting actuators on this part. But yeah, castle roofs look pretty good and are super simple to build, especially when you combine them with towers and other stuff like that. Next we have um, this jungle build, I guess you could call it. So here I'm going to keep it super simple because it has quite a few parts that are going to have roofs. Now like I did say in the first, uh, the first build, I do try to avoid keeping it just like purely out of blocks. Here I do use that a bit, but not on everything. As you can see, I go ahead and make like the bigger ones empty on the inside. Now why do I like to do this is because you could always use that space to store stuff, to put chests, and just give it that more than one dimensional feel to the roof. Now I'm going to go ahead and make three different types of 3D-ish roofs and by 3D I mean it would pretty much have like a wall on the back to make it have more depth. So on the first one it's super simple, um, all I do is make a triangle and then just put a wall on the back. You guys can go ahead and change the type of triangle like if you want to make it pointier or just a symmetrical triangle I guess. Now on the next two I go ahead and make it a little cooler I guess just so you guys have an idea of what you could go ahead and do with this. So I make a rectangle in the bottom. Now again when you guys are building houses avoid making squares. But just for the purpose of the roof I go ahead and make like I did on the first one a triangle but this time I'm going to go ahead and make two on each side followed up by a window on the middle. So this, though it doesn't have much purpose besides just looking cool, uh, it's pretty cool I guess. 
Now, lastly, I'm gonna make a even better version. Now this one will actually have some utility to it. Like you could make rooms out of it. And as you can see, I did the same thing as I did on the second one. I made two uh, triangular-ish towers. I go ahead on the edges, I put um, a little spike, I guess, just to give it more detail. I avoid, what you should always do is avoid keeping the, the materials that you put inside the triangles, the same one that you did as the roof itself. So for example, as you can see, I have red brick walls as the back, but inside the triangles, I put a different type of material. Now I go ahead and put wooden beams in the middle. That's just uh, as a support, you could go ahead and put windows or just chests, um, cobwebs, whatever you want inside. It, re it really depends on you. So I go ahead and start making a third um, triangle, triangular shaped roof here. So you're probably wondering why I go ahead and make three because this one is actually gonna serve as a small room at the top. So after making the room, I do the same thing. I go ahead and put a different type of material inside, but at the bottom, I go ahead and close it off with the same materials as I made the rectangle. That way it will look like it's actually part of the house in a connection. So don't put the same material as your roof as the, the square that you're making under the third roof or the third triangle actually, sorry about that. Now, if anything's confusing you guys or if you don't get anything I'm saying, just go ahead and ask in the comment section and I'll try to go ahead and reply. All right, guys, so here we have what is most likely my favorite type of roof, which is the wizard type roofs. Now, though I do say wizard, what I mean to say is fantasy, you know, like the ones you see on Magic Kingdom when you go um, and see that castle. It has that really awesome looking roof as well as um, from the movies like Harry Potter where the castles have really pointy and cool looking roofs. Now normally this works for towers. Uh, you could try it on something else but I'd recommend putting roofs like this on towers. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys two types. One that you could go in and the other one that's closed off. And that's, that's pretty much it. I go ahead and use Gem Spark Blocks. I painted a bit because it looked too pink and I wanted it to be purple. Now, the main thing about this roof that when you're making it is to keep the top part pointier than the bottom part. So if you go ahead and make an L shape, go ahead and start making it less of an L as you go up. So like the top part would be three blocks down and then the bottom part would be like two blocks, then one block, and so on. So that's pretty much it for the, the wizard towers. Again, up to you guys, there's countless possibilities of what you could do. You could keep it closed, open. You can make it look actually more 3D by putting, on the first, on the first wizard tower, I guess. Uh, if you notice how at the edges, I actually put a wall on the back. If you make that bigger, it would actually look a bit more 3D. So that, that's pretty much it as for roofs, guys. I mean, there's not much to it. You just make what you want, what you like, what you think will fit. If you are into castles, make a castle if you want like to make a slime village avoid pointy edges just go like for that round shape if you want to make um a wizard tower <laughs> make that pointy roof so i hope you guys enjoyed the videos thank you so much for watching it really means a lot i'm gonna go ahead and keep making these guides now it may take some time or some time to make as you can see some of these actually have a lot of building required like every single building in here i made it just for the video for roofs so as always thank you all for watching and i'll catch you guys again next time